I won. This is gonna be expensive. Okay. okay. The picture. Okay. Can I have my airpod back? Bodie's about to have it for dinner. <gasps> Lunch. Did you just threaten me? So I did. Yeah. Ooh. Why are your nails so sharp? I want the picture. I want. Yeah, I'm going right now. Okay guys, so we are at the movies. We're about to see Barbie. So we're so excited. Okay. Me and my sisters are gonna go watch it and just BTS and so thanks for watching the vlog. Alright. We just came back from the movie, like I was saying in the other video. It was so good! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I really enjoyed the concept of the film. We're not going to spoil it because I can't stand spoilers. But I would definitely recommend go seeing the movie. It was very funny. They had a top tier cast. Everybody did amazing. Um, you're going to laugh out loud. It was too many funny moments and it was a lot of satire, a lot of jokes. Like You had to get it to understand like the movies that like, you had to understand the humor you have to understand like just how society works today and everybody put understands it, you know I what feel I'm saying like they, they put it in, in a way enough like that for everybody, everybody to get that concept understand. but you know some some people being like denying reality like no it's not that hard out here for women it's not that hard like and who denies it yeah. are you picking up what we putting down anyway you got it there uh -oh. here here live <laughs> We're calling They're them out. Telling. We're calling them out. We're calling them out. We should start a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they be. Thanks for shutting that down. <laughs> so anyway, great movie. It was really fun and yeah. I give it like an eight, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Because yeah. it had some like really long moments that I feel like wasn't as necessary or like needed to be that long. Yeah, it was a two hour movie. So, but it kept me like. Yeah, it wasn't it kept boring me, though. Yeah, and it was very bright. So. You couldn't fall asleep. But yeah, it was great, guys. Bye. I'm back, and uh, I need to wash my face and get ready to go to sleep. So, I'm trying this new soap that I saw on the internet. It's called. Valetic Kojic Acid uh, and it helps with dark spot remover. It has turmeric, it has uh, yeah, so no, I'm kidding. It has uh, vitamin E, olive oil, turmeric, I already said that one, vitamin C, retinol, so and the Kojic Acid. And this is to help target my um, dark spots because. I have, uh, I've got them. If I'm being honest, I've gotten used to having acne and having these dark spots. I don't necessarily like them, but it's not to say like, you know, acne makes you ugly or anything and it doesn't. It's just something that I'm dealing with because I, I had, I literally haven't had acne until I want to say a year or two ago and it's definitely been a change because it was like okay what am I doing wrong and now I have to change from doing one product to like a thousand products and then now I'm breaking out now so it's just like you know learning how to be a woman <laughs> learning how to uh, adapt and because a lot of times it's not really like anything you can control and it's really what's happening inside of you as far as your hormones and hormones and hormonal acne and all that fun stuff you know that we just love 
So yeah, I'm just here to encourage you guys. Listen, acne is normal, acne is regular. You are not ugly if you have acne, even though it may feel like, oh, it's such an ugly thing to have. Or like, I know sometimes I will not look at myself because I'm annoyed with this huge pimple growing on my face. But again, it's normal and we still look good. We're still beautiful. We're still baddies. It's just something that we're learning to deal with and I'm learning how to deal with. And yeah, it's not here forever. So um, I do have these on my cheek. It's been a bigger issue. It used to be my forehead, but it's now become a bigger issue on my cheeks. You see? And yeah, I'm learning to be less insecure about them. Um, because again, it's not here forever and it's still beautiful. So let's see if this soap works. Let's see what the hype is about this soap. And I hope, again, and these things take time. There was a period of time where my face was worse than this. So it's gradually gonna get better and yeah let's put this head away let's just take it off sometimes I wish I could just shave my hair for like two seconds just to scratch my bald scalp and like clean it and see how that feels and then put my hair back on yeah <laughs> we made it work Ooh, number one wash your hands yeah oh looks like I have no soap bye Wash your hands because your hands is dirty. You don't want to put dirt, neck, dirt, dirty, germy hands on your face that's already breaking out. So I'm gonna lather it in my hands and go on thy face. <laughs> okay, we try to take a thumbnail and it's falling. At least the lather is nice. Guys, I have a pimple coming in on my chin. And you know the ones on your chin, they hurt your whole face. It's gonna be here for like two weeks. Ugh. So far, it feels nice. Earlier, I did do a patch test, trying out a piece of your skin to see how a new product works. And I did a patch test earlier on my arm to make sure I wouldn't break out or not turn red or itchy. And it went fine. I'm hoping this stuff works. I'm hoping this is a start to something new because I'm low-key out of ideas. I'm out of, I don't know, <laughs> trying to figure this skin of mine out. forever we still look good it's all right it's okay we all go through it so all right bye Can't even open it. <laughs> <laughs>